Hey everybody, thank you for watching Christopher's Factory. Hope you're doing well. Super quick video today. I just wanted to show you another way to join polyurethane belting. I found that this stuff works really well in tandem with 3D prints to create gear ratios without having to create gears. Sometimes you just need that seamless mesh. I've seen a lot of people do a method where they heat up a knife and then they put both ends against the hot knife and join them, but I found that that method actually leaves joints that are not as strong and can be kind of asymmetrical, which leads to the joint kind of snagging on the pulley as it goes around, and I don't find that very desirable. I'll Obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is find out about how much belting you need and then cut it off. I'm going to assume that you're working with a tensioner, but uh, you better be because these belts are pretty hard to use without one. So just line it up approximately. You can use the kitchen table to cut it and then if your wife ever asks you what all these cuts in the kitchen table are, you just say, I don't know, I never do my projects here. Then you're going to want to grab some gloves. I'm doing it without it just because I have enough nerve damage that I can, uh, but you're probably going to want some gloves. Just heat the two ends up. The other nice thing about this is you can do it just with your hands without having to find a, a clamp or a mount or anything. So just heat the two ends up, press them together until they kind of start meshing. Give it a little bit of push and pull and agitation just to make sure that the joint forms really cohesively. And then what you're going to want to do, the reason it's nice to use your fingers for this is because you're going to want to smooth out the joint so that it has sort of the same consistency as the rest of the belt because otherwise you get that snagging that I was talking about and your rotation won't be as smooth. So again, do that being careful to not burn yourself. And then you're gonna wanna keep on rolling it around in your fingers until you get the thickness that you need and then you've made sure that the joint is cooled. I've found that doing the joint this way is significantly more strong than doing it the traditional way with the hot knife. I found that my joints last longer and I found that they roll smoother. So I prefer this method. I also have another video on my channel that details how to model these little pulleys and tensioners in CAD for 3D printing. I was originally going to put it in this video, but I figured that there's probably going to be a good amount of people that don't care about 3D printing and just want to see how to join the belts. So this video is going to end here, and if you're interested in watching how to model these in CAD, um, I'm going to set it up so that it's a playlist so it should appear in the recommended tab of this video. So if you're interested in that, go give it a watch, and if you are not, thank you for watching this one, and have a wonderful day.